advertisement the Swifties are at it again. After the release of the re-recorded version of Taylor Swift's 2008 hit song on Friday, the 31-year-old superstar's Eagle Eye fans developed a theory about the Ula Johnson blouse she's sporting on the album Get Push Notifications with News, Features and More. Follow Follow and Yell get the latest updates on this topic in your browser notification. Fans pointed out on social media that the cream-colored satin shirt looks similar to the one actor Justin Gaston wore as Romeo and Swift's original Love Story music video. Some even speculated that the outfit choice implies that now, 13 years later, Swift is her own knight in shining armor. She's wearing the Romeo's shirt. She no longer needs a knight in shining armor. She's her own knight in shining armor, one fan wrote on Twitter, adding, she doesn't need Romeo to come save her, she's her own Romeo. How does she even think about all these details? She's amazing, another person tweeted, referring to the singer's clever way of dropping Easter eggs in her lyrics and music. Swift delighted her loyal fans by announcing that the re-recording of her career-changing song, Love Story, would drop at midnight lap. Swift also revealed she's been hard at work re-recording Fearless with the new name Fearless. The new album will also feature 26 songs with a total of 6 new songs from the vault. Sharing the news on Good Morning America, the singer said, Good morning, it's Taylor. I'm so excited to share with you that tonight, at midnight, I'll be putting out my version of my song, Love Story, which was originally on my album. I've now finished re-recording all of Fearless, which will be coming out soon. She continued, My version of Fearless will have 26 songs on it because I've decided to add songs from the vault which are songs that almost made the original Fearless album, but I've now gone back and recorded those so that everyone will be able to hear not only songs that made the album, but the songs that almost made it. The full pick following the GMA announcement, Swift shared the news with her fans on Instagram. In one photo, Swift shared an emotional message explaining the meaning of being able to re-record her music and the significance of her fear like the message, written in all lowercase letters, also featured a few capitalized letters that appear to spell out April 9th. Potentially the date that the singer's re-recorded album is set to the April date also equates to the 13, Swift's favorite number.